Warning, I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what I presume to be is a extremely realistic shark simulator. So like most people who live on land, I have a healthy fear of sharks. As from my perspective, they are like the apex predators of the ocean and are terrifying. However, such mindsets are unhealthy and does nothing to aid in attempting to fix the damage we have done to the planet. All biological life must be valued and treated accordingly. So I was like, well, why don't I play this game and attempt to achieve a greater understanding of our underwater bre brethren so that we can truly begin to realize that they are not just jet stream propelled cruise missiles, but living, breathing, contributing parts of Mother Earth's ecosystem. I think this will be a very educational video, so let's get started. I am excited to learn. The shark has somehow ah. survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, Ooh. she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online, free from the meddling Whoa. of censorious busybodies. Ah, yes, we are the beautiful tiger shark. I assume this is what a tiger shark looks like. Yes, majestic, very majestic, and it has the big strong jaws for biting and such. Watch as it devours its natural prey, the turtle. Oh my Christ. That was <laughs> vicious. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, you can do flips. Hold up. Wow. Oh, build up to speed, build up to speed. Wait, go down. Oh, is it too shallow here? Fair enough. Submerge, submerge, and then, and then, and then, and then, wow. An incredible, simply incredible. And this will be an accurate depiction of how the shark interacts with its local habitat that has been polluted and permanently damaged by the occupation of humans. How will she react to this situation, I wonder? <laughs> by headbutting the fuck out of this hovercraft. Oh my god, it's actually gonna explode. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Wow. Ooh. Oh. Man, she's stronger than I thought. Jesus Christ. Well, that's just gone underwater then. What, can I beach myself, I wonder? Is it not gonna let me beach myself? <gasps> I beached myself. Holy shit. Holy crap. Wow, she's, she's big mama. Wow. Whoa, whoa. How long can you just... Oh, you run out. Oh, you run, I see. Yeah, and then you go back in. You have a very generous O2 bar, it seems. Okay, fascinating. All right. This map seems like it kind of blows. Can we go somewhere that isn't lame as fuck? Okay, well, let's try and get out to open ocean. That seems like it would be more enjoyable. Don't know why the fuck they would have such a small, restricted area in a game like this, but hey, I didn't develop it. I don't fucking know. I don't know game design. I don't understand. Ow. I am on land. Oh my god, how far can we go? How far can we go? How far can I What is it with the distinct lack of humans? Isn't that kind of what this game is all about? Is to get the humans, but there are no humans here, and I can't get around that. That's really... This doesn't feel great. This does not feel great. I gotta... This doesn't feel great. I have to be honest. This does not feel great. It's almost as if a shark really shouldn't be in this kind of terrain, but hey. Oh, don't tell me I can't get through. Oh, come on. Fab out. Fuck you. Okay. There's no humans. There's nothing interesting. It's just a fucking bog. What the shit? Why would they design it like this? This is one of the most dull things I have ever seen. I've got this cool badass red tiger shark and I can do fuck all with it. I sure did eat that. Yes, that was very bloody. It is quite pretty, I must say. The use of lighting is quite effective. It doesn't feel great to control and there's not a lot going on. 
seriously, why does this area exist? It's actual. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. There was like a couple hovercrafts and I sunk one and it was kind of cool. I will grant you. Don't tell me this is blocked off as well. If this is blocked off as well, I'm going to fucking freak. Oh god, it's actually blocked off, isn't it? Hang on, let's get confirmation on this. Wait, oh, I can actually break through. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, there it is. Oh, fucking finally. Open water. Things are going to get more interesting now, probably. I don't know. <gasps> humans! Greetings, humans! Hang on, wait. Hi! Hang on, wait, hang on. Don't worry, I'll come to you. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll come to you. Don't sweat it. There we go. Humans! Good day to you! Oh, fuck! Oh, boy! Oh, no! Pooman! Oh, fuck. The camera angles are weird. Come here! Stop it, I swear. Pooman! Oh my god, this is... Oh wow. So yeah, this is what sharks do. Um, Although our bull shark is unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. Oh yeah, a crack team of shark hunters. Oh sure. There's a fucking shark over there. I should probably get back in the water. Is you? Can I get that thing? I want that thing. Give me that. Yeah, crawfish collect. Oh god, I hate collectibles. Oh my god, look at this ship. I'm gonna take it the fuck down. I have to say, the camera angle, the camera work in this game is fucking appalling. It just whips around all over the place. If you try to do any kind of aerial stuff, it freaks hard. And that's not good. Your ship is sinking, my dude. Don't worry, I will save you from financial ruin. Whoa, attack ships. Whoa, attack ships. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, wow, they're going, wow, they're going, uh, fuck, how about fuck you, though? Know, you eat your dick. Why would you get in the water to hunt me? That's the question. Uh, it's time to go now, it's time to go now. It's time to go, it's time to go, wow, what do you, what am I realistically supposed to do about this? Ow, what am I supposed to do about this? What am I, what am I, what am I supposed to do about this? They just shoot me with perfect accuracy. Ow. Um, what am I supposed to- well, okay. My friends, this is it. Next comes the total obliteration of human freedom. Right. So the game is called Man Eater and it's like, go crazy and eat the humans, but don't. Don't do that or we will beat you I into the ground. And it's like, okay, well, what's the point then? <laughs> we'll soon play host to oh, fuck off. Oh, there's a thingy over there. Well, I do want that. Sorry, buddy, nothing personal. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, go on, boys. Oh, no. Oh, it sucks to be you. Whoa, I'm being hunted already? Jesus Christ. I just... Oh, I killed, like, three people, and they have a fucking hit squad out on me. Where the fuck did they... What the fuck is... This is... What the... F what the fuck? So, this is a game, right, and I'd like to point out, I remember when this was being advertised, right, this was marketed as a go fucking nuts as a shark game. I killed three people, and the fuck you squad showed up, like, straight away. Like, I turned around, there were five ships with guns. I feel like they've maybe missed the point here with their own creation. If you can't actually go fucking ham... Unless there is a game mode where you can go fucking ham. I don't know, but... The hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. You know what I'm getting vibes of? And this is not a good thing. I'm getting strong vibes of Naughty Bear. Do you guys remember Naughty Bear? Yeah, that game sucked ass. And I'm seeing a lot of parallels. <laughs> a game sort of advertised as being the silly, fun, like, do whatever the fuck you want kind of deal, but then it's not. They try and make it, and I don't know, I don't know. I've been playing for like, what, 10 minutes? Has it been 10 minutes? Yeah, it's literally been like 10 minutes. Maybe I'm judging it a bit too harshly, but I'm probably immediately picking it up 
This does not feel good. It just does not feel... The controls do not feel good. The camera work is abysmal if you actually go out of the ground. I do this, and now I bet 90 ships are going to attack me. Literally, I destroy one boat. One boat. Where are they? There they are, immediately. Attack ships. Like, I literally just got here. Oh, that was fucking gorgeous. I feel good. That, that might make the whole game worth it. That might make the whole game worth it. Except I'm being hunted again. And even the cops in GTA, like, you can actually fight them for a while. In fact, if you're good enough, you can fight them indefinitely. But in this game, it's like, well, you know, cops are here, so you're fucked. I wanna- I'm gonna get you. 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 You can't just stand out on the deck like that. There we go. I oh, got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is very educational. I know this is how sharks hunt in their natural habitat. Did I get him? No, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. 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 This is horrifying. Wow. Wow. So, uh, yeah, like, I sit here and I play the video game and I'm like, ah, oh, the blood, that's fun. But this is actually, like, my worst nightmare that this would happen. That such a thing would occur is literally, I can't imagine a worse scenario than something like this existing in the world and doing what it is doing here. Oh, fuck, I got your friend. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. All right. All right. When you leap up and rip someone off of a surface, that feels fantastic. Kudos to them. That feels really good. I'm learning so much about sharks. Hi, my name is Trip Westy. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play me. What did she mean? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth quest. This is a game about playing as a shark. Like, what the fuck is this? Also, his voice was not good. By the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is... Whoa! Holy shit, what the fuck? That's not what swordfish do. I don't care what world you live in. That is not what swordfish do. That is not... I'm trying to thrash it. There we go. That is not what swordfish do. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck what you think. That's not what swordfish do. Swim through the rings? That sounds like it'd be way harder than it actually is. So let's give that a try. Fuck it, why not? What have I got to lose except my soul? And I didn't need that anyway. I'm a let's player. We sell all we sell our souls early on to gain a modicum of success. I got your nan! Sorry, nan. Okay, well this doesn't seem too bad. This seems like it'd be quite simple. The shark works the odor trail. Oh, Wow, wow, why did it fucking freeze for a few seconds there? Wow. This is on PS5. Uh-huh. She's got scent of your Mungander, the world encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. This uh this voiceover sucks. The voiceover blows. I don't know why he's so um subdued. 
He's also not particularly funny. He's not funny. He's not engaging. He's not interesting. He's just noise in the background. This does not... Ow. This does not control very well. Oh no, you want me to you want me to jump for it. Oh no, you want me to jump no, you want me to jump for it? With these controls? There we go. The creature has disappeared. Probably whisked away by a government post. Lest we capture the beast on video. The, uh, hmm. It's fascinating really playing this, because like the visuals are beautiful and the colours pop and it's it's a visual tree, right? Like visually, they've gotten everything right. But why does everything Marine else? Mammal parks are designed to anesthetize us from reality. Why does literally everything other than the visuals feel like it was made by, uh, like a third uh, fucking D tier PS2 developer? It's fascinating. I wouldn't say this is a bad game, but wow, it's weird in that it's like good, but not and isn't good but is good and like it's fun but also not fun and it's good to play but also bad to play this is i don't know i don't know how i feel i don't think i've ever been this jarred while playing a game before oh is that my target over there should i go get them i guess i'll go get them is it that dude on the back specifically or is it the whole ship it says destroy the target don't shoot me wow Begs the wow, 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 big note, wow. Does water have some Why? In their can I get this narrator to shut the fuck up, please? All right, let's try evolving. Oh my god, can I get him to shut up, please? He's actually pissing me off. Hang on. Stop. Everyone, stop. Audio, di narrator volume, zero. Actually, zero. Shut him up. He's annoying me. Narrator sucks. I doubt the voice actor himself actually sucks, but the way he was directed sucks. Not fun, not interesting, just annoying. Ah, uh, cool. Wow. Tail? Bone tail. Can I have like a bone shark? Bone fins. I'm gonna have a bone shark. Bone. Bone shark. Bone shark. Now I am a bone. Fuck you! Yes! There's a guy up there. Fuck you! Yes! Sink it! Sink it! Sink it! Sink it! Oh, fuck off. God forbid I have any kind of fun. Jesus Christ. So, like... I don't know. This game feels weirdly... Uh, I can't put my finger on it. I think it's the most irritating part of playing this is that I know there's something wrong with it, but I can't figure out what it is. It just doesn't feel very good. To be fair, I wouldn't necessarily say... Um, basing an entire game around being an angry shark was necessarily a good idea, especially if it's not such a large open world one. It probably should have been... Or at the very least, the game itself should be shorter. What if I absolutely bat your shit because this is literally the only way I know how to fight, so this is all I'm gonna do. What if I absolutely bat your shit? What if I absolutely bat your shit? What if I absolutely bat your shit? Uh, I got you. Uh. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. I got you. An elite diver, huh? Well, it doesn't matter how elite you are, it doesn't stand up to teeth. See, when I'm just allowed to go fucking ham, it's actually quite fun, like... It doesn't, it's not particularly in depth, I guess, and it's not the most well designed thing as well but it is fun to just go ham but this game seems so opposed to you actually just 
What the fuck are you talking about? I think I figured out the issue, perhaps. This should be more of a stealth game, perhaps. If they're gonna do it this way and have the, um, the human response be so immediate and severe, this should be a stealth game. It should be about picking off specific targets and, um, spreading fear, as it were, through, like, you know, killing things and also having gory public displays. As it currently stands, it feels like it wants to do several things but doesn't know how to do them properly. It feels like it wants you to be sneaky, but doesn't really give you the tools to be sneaky. And at the same time, it feels like it wants you to go on rampages, but punishes you for going on rampages. It's... Weird. I was ex not expecting this to be an analytical episode. I was expecting this to be goofy fun, but I can't help but sit here and be like... I can't help but look at it. What the fuck? I can really jump. Wow. I don't even understand what I'm doing half the time, I gotta be honest. And the hunter's already here. Wow, they got here straight away. Like, you see what I mean? All I did was attack a rowboat, a small rowboat with two people on it, and the game has gone full DEFCON 5, send the entire army at you. Which, I'm not opposed to having, like, a response force to stop the player from just fucking around endlessly, because otherwise you'd get bored of fucking around endlessly. But you're not allowed to fuck around at all. You do a little bit of fucking around, and the game comes down on you. It's like, no, 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 stop being a shark. Not being funny, but I probably wouldn't come to a game like this looking for, like, a challenge, and I'm a guy who's always looking for a challenge in his games, but... Having played this for, like, what, 20 minutes? I can already tell I would not enjoy trying to play this game as a challenge, because it, the game doesn't feel built for it. So this would be a fuck about -y game where you fuck about for funsies, but the game is, is adamant that if you fuck around, it'll come get you. It's gonna come get you. And you do not feel like the apex predator of the ocean as such. Yeah, you can munch on some humans and that's fun, I guess, but I don't see a lot really going on here. In fact, I think I'm going to keep this one real short and end it here, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't know. It's just not very fun. <laughs> I feel bad. This isn't a video, barely, but I'm just sad here and like, I'm, I'm looking over at the capture right now, I can actually tell you, to pull back the curtain entirely. I'm looking at the capture and it says 28 minutes and it feels like I've been recording for 45. Like, I already feel like I've... Obviously, I haven't seen everything the game has to offer. It feels like I've seen everything the game has to offer. It feels like... This is the video game. That's it. Me, I like, this is clearly a completed save file. Clearly, Sweetman has blasted through this. So he must have enjoyed it. Good for him, right? At least he enjoyed it. But it doesn't feel like there's much to do at all. Sure, maybe if I went and started a new game and, like, oh, all the stuff is available on the map for you to go check out... I just don't think I'd enjoy doing it. I think I'd get annoyed trying to do it. It's not like Shadow of War where you can honestly just do everything in that game and you can still kind of have fun actually. Like you can still enjoy playing it even after you've completely trashed the story and taken all the thoughts and all that. But here, I don't know. I kill three people and then the shark response team kills me and then it's nothing and then it's just... And like, I play the game, and I'm like, this is it. This is it. This is the video game. This is it. There's nothing. It's just boats and people, and you eat the people, and then the boats come after you, and then sometimes you destroy the boats, but sometimes the boats come after you. There's probably stuff involving, like, hunting animals or stuff. There's probably, like, other quote-unquote apex predators and you probably have fights with them and stuff but just playing this now playing this now and controlling this shark it doesn't feel like i would enjoy playing it at all doing any other shit oh cool i didn't know that was a thing that's pretty cool actually all right kudos that's pretty neat that tail whip is real nice that's neat i dig it but still I don't think I'd enjoy playing this, and I think we're done here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Ah, uh, fuck. I might put this up alongside Foreman Talks or something, just so... I don't feel comfortable putting this video up on a day by itself, because it's so... 
nothing, right? Like, even Star Wars Squadrons was more than this, and that was just a multiplayer game where you fly a ship and you just do that over and over again. That's another game where it's like you play it and you go, this is the game, this is it, there's nothing else. But this one feels especially restrictive in that. I don't know. I don't necessarily think Man Eater is bad. I don't think it's a bad game. I just don't like it. I don't like how it feels. I don't like how it plays. And I don't get that I, that feeling of like, oh, I wonder what's I wonder what's here. I wonder what I can do. I wonder what I can go check out. From the moment I started playing, I was like, this is pretty fucking dull, actually. <laughs> So, I don't know. I don't even know if this will make a good video. In fact, I'm kind of sorry for making it. I think I'm going to put it up anyway, because footage is footage. But like I said, I'll probably put it up on Sunday alongside Foreman Talks so that, you know, I'm not shortchanging you guys by putting this up on a date by itself and calling this a video. It wasn't a funny video. It was more of an analytical video, which is a shame. I had that intro. I was setting this up to be a whole thing. And then... I don't know. I just couldn't really get the game to deliver. I don't know if that's the game's fault or my fault. For the to give the benefit of the doubt, I'll assume that's my fault. It's assume I'll assume it's because I don't know the game and I'm probably not a good enough LP here to make this work. But God, that's just not very fun. I don't know. But I digress, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. It's possible I might be running out of stuff to fuck around with, so I might be uh, re-evaluating my priorities soon and not doing so many one-offs. But I've enjoyed doing these one-offs because it's allowed me to experience a lot of different games and get a lot of different experiences. Playing the same shit over and over and over and over again, it's, it's dulling to the mind. My performance would be affected. In fact, I feel my performance was affected, especially in Darkest Dungeon, where I was just doing the same thing over and over again. And I could feel myself having less and less to say every time I started a video. Doesn't mean I'm never doing Dark Dungeon again. It just means I, was, I wanted to take a break and play some other games. But I'm rambling. None of this really matters. I'm desperately trying to pad out this length because, God, this video does not feel very good. But I, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry you wasted your time. And whatever happens next time, and I promise it will be more interesting and probably a more enjoyable thing. But whatever happens, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye.